Place Live, and it's me, Jack, coming at you from the Kids Place Live Cafetorium. It's a multi-purpose room. We serve hot lunch here, but then we open it up for after-school assemblies uh, and uh, the after-school program <laughs> once uh, you all are out of the building. Uh, but speaking of in the building, I think it's time that we brought in someone new for a segment we like to call Mystery Me. That's right, it's Mystery Me where we bring an unexpected guest here onto the hot lunch stage to wow you with entertainment. Let's see who it is. Oh, I recognize this person. Audience, straight out of the animal farm. Give it up for the very fragrant Kenny Curtis. Hey, yo. Is that okay? Hey, yo, yo. Kenny, I, I, I normally refer to the animals as fragrant, but, I mean, you spend a lot of time with you those know, animals. It's, uh, it's an it, occupational it, hazard. It, it comes with the territory, yes. Fragrance. Ode yes. to Dirk. Yes, this is why <laughs> we don't broadcast an odorama. It's just not uh, yeah. the right way to go. So, yes, Eau de Llama. Wet Llama is where I draw the line. If it's straight, the Llama wet, whoo, that's a whole different kind of smell. Okay, okay, yeah. so I got an idea. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a fragrance, a men's fragrance called Eau de Llama, uh, presented in Eau de Llama. Eau de Llama in Eau de Llama. Well, what do you think? That could be I something. I like it. I like That's a good year. Yeah, this is a good uh, My people will call your people. We'll do this. This could be a thing. You have people? Wait, no, who are your I, people? My people are small and furry, actually. I don't have people. I have animals. Oh, it's yeah. I've, I've, I've heard about those guys. <laughs> anyway. Kenny, perfect. this is exciting. Uh, it is now time for a segment within a segment because it's time to play... Correcto! I love That's this right, Kenny. This is my favorite game. Oh, thank I you. Love Kenny, I'm really excited to play this game with you. As uh, you have maybe heard, Correcto Mundo is the game where every answer is... Wait for it. Correct. At least we think so. Uh, it, this has not been statistically oh, proven. You would have to play an infinite number of games to be sure that every game and every answer is correct. But so far, we have had uh, one of two outcomes. Most people are winners. Some people drop their calls because they drive into a tunnel. But that's it, Teddy. No one has ever lost right. this game. Well, how do you think your chances are? I think I might test this. I might test the theory of, because uh, given how I did with the alphabet game, the last, I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll see okay. how we do. Uh, but I love this game. Correct me my favorite game Love the spatula, always been a big fan of kitchenware. Uh, you know, colanders were a big hit for me when I was a kid, so spatulas are... Wait a minute, uh, spatula, Kenny, this, this actually, um, I, I just realized just now, mm -hmm. uh, this is not live for the Monkey House, but you, I mean, technically, you have never played a game with me before. I haven't in a Monkey House style way. I, I, I have mean, not. I, well, let me check this out with the audience really fast. Audience, does Kenny count as a first-time caller, long-time listener? Oh, uh, Kenny, uh, this is on a technicality. Well, you actually just qualified for your own spatula. Wow, oh, this is, this is, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. This is so great. And what a perfect great. place. Oh, Here in the Capitorium, we've got a lot of spatulas That's behind so the line there. Great. So once Thank we're done you. playing this game, win, lose, or draw, you. you can choose any spatula that you like. That's well, on the house. First of all, I'd like to thank God, without whom none of this would be possible. But I'd also like to thank my agent, who has done a tremendous amount of work trying to get my career to where I am today. I also want to give a shout out to my wife and my kids who are amazing support systems for me and are we at the Okay, the music, I hear that's awesome. You know what, let's just Yeah, you're being, you're being played off I'm right sorry, now, Kenny, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I, I, it's okay. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't know that we even had an orchestra in here. That was amazing. That's they just really, started playing. That's really good. <laughs> wow. You guys are very talented. Seriously. I love you. Okay, Kenny, uh, this is exciting. Yeah. Uh, it is now time to lower you down into the high anxiety room. And you might notice a chill here in the cafetorium air because we have submerged you into an underground bunker-style location with a single spotlight shining right on your face. And the audience is looking at you with laser beam eyes. Kenny, it's time for question number one. Okay. Question number one. Uh, Kenny, um, if you had to turn any standard lunch item into a wig that you wore for the rest of the school day, what lunch food would you turn into a wig? This is question number one for What Boys. I'm going to say, you know, I want to say broccoli because broccoli is green and leafy and makes you look like you have, you know, a curly Bob Ross hair, which I love. But um, I'm going to say mashed potatoes because mashed potatoes can move. You can sculpt them. And then after a while, when they dry, they get hard, just like gel, and they can stay in place. So I'm going to say... I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to say mashed potatoes. I mean, chances are it is right, but we're, we're going we're gonna to check with the audience. Mashed potato hair, uh, and I guess if you broke out into a sweat, you could just lay a little, little bit of gravy there onto the mashed yeah, potato hair. exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Uh, audience, show us mashed potato hair. That's correct, Kenny. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Awesome. Yes. That's one point.
point to you. We also would have accepted. Right. We also would have accepted squash. Squash. Good. Oh, okay, good. Good to know. Kenny, That's this good. is okay. uh, now a moment of truth. You could stop now with one point, keep that delicious looking head of mashed potato hair, or you could risk it all and go to question number two. Kenny, what do you want to do? You know, I didn't come here for consolation prizes. I'm, I'm risking it all. We're going ahead. All right. We're going. Question, question number two, Kenny. As you know, here in the cafetorium, we publish our school hot lunches a month in advance, and some of our names for these lunches are very creative. I like to think that our kitchen staff has a uh, background in uh, theatrical writing. Maybe one day you'll see their names in the credits of feature-length movies. Kenny, if you had the chance to rename the Sloppy Joe as a brand new name, uh, still the same ingredients, a bun with, you know, the Sloppy Joe in the middle, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what would you rename the Sloppy Joe as? Kenny, this is question number two, a very high-pressure and messy question. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say um, I like Sloppy Joe, and I don't want to disrespect Sloppy Joe, but uh, I'm going to go with um, with Corrosive Column. That's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, Sloppy Joe, Corrosive Column. Corrosive Column. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's There's what I'm going to go with. Of a, yeah, acidity yeah, yeah. in this Sloppy Joe mixture <laughs> with Corrosive Column. Well, you know, after... After a while, the bun just totally breaks down. You, you've noticed that, I'm sure. Eventually, it's sloppy joe. There's no bottom bun. It's just all gone because of the weight and the intensity of the actual meat. And that's what I think people think of when they think of it as sloppy. But it's more corrosive, really. And... And Colin's just a great name. A good guy. So Corrosive here, here. Colin, not Sloppy Joe. It's also, Colin. It's, it's a known fact that if you leave a Sloppy Joe splatter on the table, uncleaned, it'll eventually eat its way through the table and plop onto the floor through the hole that it just carved for itself. So Corrosive is actually probably I have right on the money. Well, I'm sold, okay. but we got to go to the audience for this. Audience, show us Corrosive Colin. That's correct, Kenny. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. You are. You are. I was worried about that one. too. But speaking of Colin, it's time that you were making a call in about what to do. You could walk away with a delicious looking head of hair and a corrosive meal, or you could risk both points and go for the third and final question. Kenny, what's it gonna be? You know, I do love sloppy. I'm sorry, corrosive Collins. And I love a whole lot, and I've always wanted hairs. Uh, but you know, I'm here. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on. Oh. I am gonna go oh. on. Oh, the theater! I thought you were done. Doggone it! Doggone it! I came here to win. I didn't come here to almost win. I came here to win. So you know what? I'm going. We're going on. Doggone it! Kenny, um, the uh, good choice, by the way. Uh, there's only one way to win this game, and that's to answer three questions. Uh, Kenny, okay, good. Uh, this is not the question. Just some background. Have you heard of the Bigelow Tea Company, Kenny? Yes, I have heard of the Bigelow Tea Company, Kenny. Uh, okay, great. The Bigelow Tea Company, Kenny, creates. Uh, delicious tea bags that you could uh, plop into a, 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 a mug full of water and your home or office setting and enjoy the soothing, calming sensation of warm tea. But, Kenny, as you might imagine, the research and development department at Bigelow Tea has had a few misses. Uh, what would you, if you had to guess, Kenny, and you do, that's the whole point of this game, oh, okay. if you had to guess, what was the lowest rated flavor of Bigelow Tea as proposed by the research and development department? And I'll give you the background here. This tea uh, was rejected by every single of 10,000 people who tried it. Kenny, what flavor of tea do you think was the least popular? Uh, well, you know, avocado chamomile um, was was out for a long time. And that's that, that's hard to say. It's, it's hard to top that one. Pairs well with avocado toast, though. I mean, it does. That just did. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say, you know, probably lemon windex. Uh, that was probably the one. I, yeah, I don't know which one to pick. Honestly, I'm going to say lemon. You know, I'm going with lemon. 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 Gonna, I have to say one. This is uh, the uh, people of the Bigelow Tea Company did a lateral and hired some of the flavor engineers from the Birdie Bots Jelly Bean Company. <laughs> they, they, cro right. they crossed the streams. But did they cross the streams in that fashion? The lemon Windex audience, show us lemon Windex. That's correct, Kenny. I yes. pressed the bell! Yes! Yes, I am uh, correct on uh, those! Kenny, I would give you yes. a lifetime supply of yes. lemon Windex, but is currently subject to a class yes. action lawsuit. So, Kenny, I'm just going to give you a firm handshake, but don't worry, I've sanitized this hand That's thoroughly before giving it to you. Thanks for playing, Kenny! Oh, thank you! Thank you! It's been great to be here. Correct Mundo, everybody. Love you! Mm.